Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Yes, the entertainment don't stop and won't stop. We have um, a special guest joining us virtually, and I'll be introducing her right now. Our first guest is a singer, songwriter, dancer, and actress regarded as the Black Madonna. She got buzz for days and a true entertainer from an early age, 10 to be precise. She showed tremendous promising, promising a um, future in the music industry. The heart of music, she's practiced that and mastered it. She studied musical theater and performing arts from the prestigious South Bay Conservatory. She broadened the horizon after uh, by taking piano and vocal lessons, and no wonder she has become a remarkable, accomplished performer, who has captivated the audience around the world by also writing several songs that have been featured on television shows, including Ant Fam, Shake It Up on Disney Channel, Love and Hip Hop on VH1, America's Top Model, CW, Bad Girls Club, Oxygen, Keeping Up with the Kardashians on E, and many more. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, all the way from the United States of America, let's make welcome Jordan Pollen. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Hi, Jordan. I've never seen you feel that excited about, about a, a, a guest before, so... Mm. But please, can I just jump in before if it takes over this entire show? Mm -hmm. I liked the introduction, and what stood out for me really was the part that said Black Madonna. Yeah. That is a full on shooter feel, really. And she is an entertainer in every aspect. And even with your introduction, we can see that you have that level as well. But I wanted to know from your perspective. What are the similarities you think uh, between you, yourself, and Madonna? And what are the differences as well? Because I know you're not Madonna. You're your own person. So talk to me about that. Um, I just loved her freedom and how passionate she was as an artist to make it happen. And no matter what anyone said, mm. she actually went for it and paved the way, went on stage in lingerie, bright dresses, did yeah. Vogue, and broke the complete standard for music, I feel and as a woman in entertainment, so that's why I feel like I relate right. to so, um, longevity her. Longevity is very things. important in the music industry, and I would like to know what exactly would stand the test of time when it comes to your music that will keep you relevant 20 years from now? Because I still want to introduce you like this 20 years from now. <laughs> um, uh, that's how I'm all about. I want to create, I'm creating timeless music. Like, I want something to last 10 years, decades on, clean up to, you know, Sunday dinner to, you know, family reunion to just be with your friend and family and just feel a vibe that's like, wow, this is such a good time. So you're, that's you're, really what I'm working on, just timeless music. A lot of just for right now music. Okay. And, you know, your portfolio music is the only thing that's eternal in this world we live in and that hills also in this world. So. Right. Right. Your portfolio is very diverse. I mean, you went from Shake It Up to Kim Kardashian. Like, those are very, very different kinds of audiences. How do you do that? Like, how do you get inspiration to be able to write music for completely different people? And it's still just one person. Ooh, that's pretty hard. Mm. I feel like life puts us through so many experiences that mm. we're able to relate in more ways than we think that we are capable of doing, you know? Yeah. So like, even as a kid, like, I just, I don't know, I feel like I could tap into anything because I've been there and right. I've done that, you know? So I'm able to relate to different sectors and people. And um, now I'm just like working on my own project, just writing my own stuff. And I'm still writing for, you know, artists and stuff, which is like still crazy to me. Like mm -hmm. people still request me yeah. um, to write for them, but yes. Mm, it's, I like it. It's just like acting. You just get to be somebody else yeah. and just like, you know, tell a story. All right. So um, in Drake's voice, what a time to be alive. <laughs> so um, I want to say this is a great time for a, a whole lot of us to be alive, especially Africans. So I would like to ask you, or being black or, um, you know, colored, how has being black in the entertainment industry impacted your career? Hmm. I mean... Of course, it's always going to be harder because we always have to work 10 times harder yeah. in order for us to be relevant and to have a statement and be this amazing extravaganza of a superstar. 
But um, I feel like I'm very, I'm happy that I'm black in the industry because I don't know. I feel like I could do cooler shit, you know, and just like right. be freer and just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it impacted me a lot because it's a lot of meanies, it's a lot of people that's like, oh, you're black and you want to be a pop star. I don't think that you could do that. Mm. You should stick to rapping or R&B, but it's like, in this life, we can't put ourselves in a box. We're capable of doing so much, yeah. achieving so much and, you know, surpassing and breaking chains. And that's what I'm all about, is just breaking chains and being great. So, but I, I wanna, knows, I, but that ain't gonna stop me from getting where I need to be. Okay, hey girl. <laughs> get, I mean, I like the passion. I like that you are extremely talented. It seems like you've done quite a lot. Um, I, wanna, I want you to give us a bit of an insight on what your backstage looks like away from the glam and the cameras and all that what do you how do you spend your time in in terms of um, harnessing your craft um writing and just being in the studio is my happy time a lot of people be like oh do you want to go out do you want to go to a party or something i don't know i feel like that's just my happy time that's my peace that's my you know my freedom mm. in a sense you know we all have to find our freedom in some way we say we're free but we're not really. Mm. So music is really that freedom and happiness for me. So I'd rather be in the studio. I'm always in the studio, literally. <laughs> always in the studio. Awesome. Um, I write like short stories, movies, TV shows. You know, I'm kind of, I'm not born, but I'm pretty <laughs> <laughs> much like. All right, so um, yeah. let's, let's That's talk what I about. like to do for fun. Yeah. Let's talk about something more serious that's affecting um, all of us around the world right now, which is police brutality. And um, I would like to know, um, you know, do you know what is going on in Nigeria right now with the whole NSAS movement and police brutality hashtag mm. going around on social media. And something similar is going on in America. We saw a protest over there as well when um, George Floyd died. And big shout out to Daniela Fraser. She's being given an award for... Um, recording that moment, Judge Floyd's last moment. So I would just like you to touch on police brutality over there and then a word of encouragement to Nigerians. Police brutality, I feel like our world is just very free. And, you know, we have social media, we have different outlets of a better life. and. Um, I feel like the government and the world in general is trying to keep the people under control and under their thumb. Right. But I want you guys to know, keep, continue to pray, work on yourself, flourish on the inside, spirit, make it beautiful because all this is so temporary in this mm. world. We can't take nothing with this. And mm. everything we do as like a human race, mm. be good to people. We don't know what anyone's going through, you know, even though it's a very sickening time and like seeing all of this happen in front of our eyes, like I feel like it's an information overload for everyone yeah. in every sector of the world. There's so much going on. And um, like, I don't know, it's really hard for me to process because I can't even watch a video of someone dying without me like breaking down in tears. Like I don't get it, but this world is evil and we can't battle the world, but we could fix ourselves, start with ourselves, and make sure that we take care of our neighbors mm. and our loved ones and um you know see it through it's going to pass this too shall pass i'm trying to tell you guys after all we get through all of this craziness it's going to be so beautiful i believe yeah. that for our, our world it's all going right. to be so beautiful this is i'm a very spiritual person so i know that <laughs> the lord is real yeah. and his hand is on all of us all and right, thank you, you so much for sharing that. That was uh, extremely deep. Oh, and um, I'm sure a lot of people were listening and they are, you know, catching one vibe or the other from what you just shared with us. So big shout out to you. Yeah, so um, on, on, on a lighter note, you know, a lot of people see you. They see you all glammed up, looking all beautiful, you know, killing the stage, you know, the dance moon, Black Madonna and all. Yeah, flick your hair, girl. It's loud. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So tell us about your most embarrassing moment, embarrassing moment ever. Tell us about that. Uh, um, I actually met the actor Brad Pitt. And when I met him, my boob was out. Ah. And I was so embarrassed. 
<laughs> so embarrassed. And everybody was in ball gowns, looked very nice. And they were leaving like what? a very like extravagant party. And I was just with my friends and stuff like, oh. Why oh was God. why were they out? It what was happened? Was that was that a wardrobe was malfunction that, yeah. or something? Was that what how did that, that happen? War, yeah, a serious wardrobe malfunction. Mm. I did not want to show him my tit that soon. Uh, tell, <laughs> tell me tell me the stylist got fired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. So um that's amazing. It's probably your most embarrassing moment, probably his best moment. You never know. <laughs> right. All right. So we'll be going on a break, but yes, we will be right back with Jordan with us. So stay with us, tea time. We'll be right back. <laughs> 